Let's roll for some Spam Musubi. First for flavoring. 6. Tocino. This is based on the popular Filipino sweet pork belly. I lived with a Filipino family in LA and had this multiple times. It's really good. Smell test smells like regular Spam. Let's test the juice. Salty, sweet. Also, apparently I've been cutting Spam wrong this whole time. Thank you for correcting me on this. Let's make a thin test slice. It kind of has a little orange hue to it. Let's have a taste. Sarap, sarap. Like in the previous episode, I'm going to make three slices just in case I mess up. Let's start by caramelizing all three pieces. Beautiful, and let's roll for our sweetener. Four, white sugar. sugar. First, deglaze our pan with some medium. Then equal parts shoyu. And for our sugar. sugar. We're going to cook this down until it gets a little thicker. It should coat my spatula a little bit. Perfect. Let's put our spam back in. Make sure that it gets a nice candy coating. It's gonna be nice and saucy. And let's roll for our rice. Four, hetban. This is Korean style instant rice. Microwave for 90 seconds. Be careful because it gets super hot. Let's start the assembly. I'm using onigiri nori. Put our microwave rice in there. And let's go ahead and pack it down. And do our final roll of furikake. Four, ebi fumi. This is shrimp based. Hey, nice little hiss. It tastes like seaweed and Korean shrimp crackers. It looks like sakura flowers. Let's put our spam in. I can see why cutting it correctly makes a big difference. Let's get this rolled up. Sweet tocino with ebi furikake crispy nori. Let's have a taste. Thank you for correcting me on how to slice spam. You don't have any rice hanging over the edges. Wow. Sat up, sat up. It's like eating a Filipino breakfast with a real, like, original tocino. Red Filipino sausage, longanizas, longanizas. Sweet and salty, and usually the meat is base of pork, which Spam also is. Spam is really sweet to begin with, so paired with the sugar-based sure. teriyaki sauce, it's really good. I'd say this one is the best so far. I know we've only had two in this series, but I would give this a 9 out of 10. Also, let me know if you guys want to see something like Wild Magic, that scene in Roll for Sandwich. I made this series wanting to see if I can make various types of musubi without any crazy flavors. But if you guys want to see like a fried egg on top, maybe that can be like a D4 roll or maybe an kimchi. Or I can add like really wild ingredients as well. So let me know. All right, last bite the cameraman. All right, thank you.